Hi, I'm Tom. I'm going to show you guys how to uh, take a 12 volt end and if you want to, if you have an open end, you want to change it to a posi and use your same gears. A good method to use to do that. Uh, this is a, a 67 Rand 12 volt with 331. It's got a posi in it already. It's got a posi in it already, but I'm going to re bearing it and I like to record how the gears are set up. So it's the same method you would use for an open end. You're going to need a few things. You're going to need some gear marking compound. You're going to need a 916 wrench in our case. You'll need brake cleaner to clean the gear so it's nice and dry. And then you'll need a, a magnetic base dial indicator. And what you want to do here, one of the first things you want to do is record the backlash that is in there existing on the existing used gears without taking anything apart. So you take the indicator, you stick it on your tooth, and then you uh, you have to hold your pinion flange because it will try to turn pretty easily over and have this bearing. So you get it all the way one way. this number. Yep, in my indicator. As you can see there, it's got about 12 thousandths play. That's about 12,000. So you would want to record that with a piece of paper and keep it. Next thing you want to do is take your gear marking compound and mark some teeth. I've already cleaned the grease off these teeth. You mark them. Both sides. So the mark. Then the next thing you want to do is you want to turn it using a ring gear bolt. You don't want to use the axles or, well you could use the axles but they're gone. You don't want to use the pinion shaft. It doesn't give you the proper pattern. And in this case it turns so easy you want to hold the pinion flange and make it turn harder. That's what I do. Turn it. I like to go two revolutions each direction. Okay. We'll call that. Then what you want to do is get your digital camera. It's good for reference. And you'll take a picture of these teeth patterns. And you can see in this case the wear pattern is established with the factory gears on the coat side. And then you can come around and see it on the drive side. And you might want to come closer and see it from both sides here. And this, this set of gears has a good established pattern. It's, it's, it's wearing nicely. You can see how it's broad across the, the top and the bottom of the tooth. So there's the bottom of the tooth and there's the top of the tooth. And it pretty much goes from top to bottom this way on the tooth also. And that's the drive. And you go to the coast, and you can see it's got a nice, established, clean pattern from one side of the tooth to the other. Then you can take it apart, look at this shim here, measure it, keep it right and left side. There's a shim on each side, and there's also a pinion shim, which is on the pinion shaft. You want to keep those shims for reference and probably assemble it with those shims the first time. If you can't establish those gear contact patterns in the backlash, then you need to change your shims. And that's it for today.